Yeah, and I just want to kind of add to that <clears throat> the cyclical thing. So this is something that happens. And, you know, I've been in this industry for a long time. And people that I know um, that have been in, been in this industry for longer than me um, say the same thing you just basically you just said. And that is, is that, you know, there, there's several cycles, right? So you got like this particular kind of a cycle where, you know, we have two years in a row. Ian was, you know, kind of a big deal, but it wasn't like nearly as big as like the previous couple of years with 20 hurricanes in a, in a row kind of thing. Um, this year, it's been pretty quiet uh, overall. Um, and the carriers are, you know, like in some cases, I think in this, this, this one particular case with the big company, <clears throat> it's a matter of, well, they've, they, all this money that they were going to spend on, spend on IAs for big cats is just sitting in a in a pile, and they're like, "Well, what do we do with this?" Well, somebody, and this is this is my my big question with this, but somebody said, "Well, let's just hire a new staff and stop using these IAs because we're tired of the reconciliations and the reworks and all the you know the stuff that we have to do." So let's just hire a bunch of staff people, train them to the you know the farm method and all this kind of stuff, and then it'll, it'll be happy and and whatever. And they they do this like every few. And I think I know the answer, but it's, I don't know that it's knowable necessarily. Is this short-term memory loss on the part of this company, or is it just a business plan, right? Is this just how they do, they just, you know, their long-term strategy over decade to decade to decade, you know, when you've got extra money, hire staff, get rid of the IAs, and then when, and when everything goes sideways, uh, or if it gets too expensive to have these staff, these cat, cat people sitting around doing nothing because there's no cats, you know, well, then maybe we'll cut those guys and then their big cat blows up and a big hurricane two years from now or one, next year or whatever. And now we got to hire a bunch of IAs anyway, right? So it kind of goes back and forth, up and down. And then you have the opposite of this where you have companies that are like, the, all these, these staff cat teams are sitting around, you know, throwing darts and, and, you know, playing Nerf hoop in the office and just drawing, you know, they, they it costs the company hundreds of thousands of dollars per person to keep on staff, not you know, their salary and all their benefits right. and everything. So we're spending a lot of money on these people and IAs, you know, I mean, there's gonna be some there's gonna be some uh some cleanup to do after they they leave a cat event, but there's gonna be a lot cheaper in the long run. Even though it seems like IAs makes all this money, you know, it's I think it's on balance, it's a net. It's net. It's cheaper to have to do use IAs, even though it seems like they get paid a lot, or we get paid. You know, we get paid a lot um, in, per claim. So that was kind of my big question with it: is it is it short term memory loss, or is it long term strategy? And I even see this on the IA firm side, where um, you'll have firms, and I think we've seen this recently with with all the major with a lot of the major firms anyway, and they'll 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 buy buildings or they'll buy smaller IA firms or they'll buy a training company. And then they've got like this huge training resource and they hire all these instructors and they've got overhead for these buildings and all this kind of stuff. And then it's crickets for two years or three years or four years in a row. Yep. And it's cost them lots and lots of extra money. So then they cut that, right? And I've watched that happen back and forth um, with several companies over the last 25 years. Um, so it's cyclical and I, you know, I, w I would just want to kind of get the, the message out there to people watching this that, you know, there's, there's, a, there's the annual cycle of like the storm season, but then there are like sort of like, you know, much longer cycles that cover multiple years that kind of have an effect on, it has an effect on people that drawing people into the industry, you know, the attention that things like the big storms get, um, versus when it's quiet and people are, and there's nothing going on in there. They, maybe they tried to get a license, and they got their license and they got some training or whatever. And then there's just nothing going on for them to do. And so they went back to doing whatever they were doing before, or they found some other work and they just never came back. Um, so there's some, there's some longer term cycles, you know, that kind of stack on top of the regular storm cycle that are affected by the storm cycle, you know, the annual storm season. Um, so it's, it's, uh, you know, the kind of the question I wanted to, to hit on with this one was, um, should you go ahead and be a staff adjuster if, you know, if, if a huge company is hire, going on a, a massive hiring spree? It's not a bad way to go. Technology is moving at an accelerated pace, 
As an independent claims professional, more than ever, you must keep your finger on the pulse of the industry. The best adjusters are flexible and adaptable, and the best way to keep on top of all the changes is to attend the major conferences every year. And there are really only and there is really only one conference that will put you on the cutting edge of claims tech, and that is the Verisk Elevate Conference held annually in Salt Lake City. Who's Verisk? You ever heard of a little software program called Xactimate? Yeah, that's them. Three full days of keynotes, panels, presentations, and even level one, two, and three certification prep for Xactimate. And on top of that, go hands-on with the absolute cutting edge of Xactware and other tech in the solutions gallery. Want to know what's coming for Xactimate X1 and Xactimate Mobile and Xact Analysis? See it at the solutions gallery before you use it in the field or at the desk. There are really only two can't miss claims industry events every single year, and this is one of them. Best of all, Adjuster TV will be there. There is still time to register. Just go to Google and type in Verisk Elevate 2024 or click the link in the description below and we'll see you there. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 